Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This will be for any Gemini placement propensity that is relevant to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything seen in the video will all be on my website. The link for that is in the description box. At the end, we will also pull some Oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. The reading is aimed for the month of March, but time is elusive. Anytime the reading reaches you, that's when you are meant to hear it. One card out. What else do we have for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? King of Swords. Standing in your own energy. You could also be dealing with another air sign. A Libra or an Aquarius specifically. But the heavy air sign energy. More air sign energy. Wow, yeah. Some sort of conversation here. Getting ready to happen. Or information being given or received. What else do we have for Gemini? I won't take it, didn't flip naturally. The Three of Swords wanted to pop out. So some of you are definitely getting over some sort of painful situation. Healing. The Strength card, Seven of Swords. Lots of swords, Gemini. Definitely your energy. Oh my gosh. Right as I said, definitely your energy. What else for Gemini? This is like, you are you are all, or someone else, you could definitely be dealing with someone with heavy air sign energy. But, oh, a little bit of cups. Man, that's a lot of air. And a little bit of fire. Not too much though. <laughs> the bottom of your deck this week, we are looking at the Knight of Cups. Okay, a little bit more water energy. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but then more air. <sighs> My goodness, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be relevant to you. We are in Pisces season, so the timing, definitely. Timing is definitely now. Something could be happening now in Pisces season. Some sort of offer here, some sort of gesture from someone. You could be making this gesture, you could be receiving this gesture, but someone is about to extend their cup, either expressing emotions or expressing some sort of emotional, you know, investment or, you know, telling you they feel something. Can I go out? Do you want to get coffee? Let's get to know each other. Whatever it is, it'll be different for all of you. Past position, we're starting with lots of air here. King of Swords and Major Arcana for Gemini Energy. The Lovers, definitely coming in strong in your reading. So this could definitely be you and you could definitely be dealing with another air sign or just be heavy, heavily influenced by air energy right now. Lots of cerebral activity here, but there is a choice that someone is making. There is a choice that someone is making. Someone has made a choice and they're ready to communicate this choice. There is some sort of divine partnership here at play, but it needs to be chosen in order for it to be what it's supposed to be, right? That's that free will wild card. Something can totally be destined and faded, but the thing is with free will, right? It can really, really prolong things, delay things, you know, all these sort of things. So someone is making a choice and they're ready to communicate this choice. They're seeing clearly. They see exactly what it is they need to do, how it is they need to do it. They've made a plan, most likely. And they're ready to execute, right? Ready to execute. Could be whoever this Knight of Cups is for you. Or this could be you with all this air energy. Present position, Ace of Swords. More air energy with the King of Cups. Water sign energy. Again, uh, Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio. So definitely a conversation coming here, no doubt. Victory as well. This is also a now card. Okay, so whatever this is, it definitely is happening. Most likely in Pisces season, right? But there definitely is some sort of expression of emotion. There's definitely something that either you really love and you're finally letting it be known that you really, really love this thing. Doesn't necessarily have to be a person, right? For most of you, it is. But there definitely is some revealing of feelings towards something. King, King of Cups has very deep feelings. Doesn't usually express it, 
but with this king with this knight of cups here definitely this is what this is this person finally deciding to let it be known how much they actually care about something someone a place person thing you know ready to express ready to get moving ready to put the plan in action victory energy for this person this person spent a lot of time in their head creating illusions creating you know the illusion of being trapped like they can't make a move but perfect perfect alignment with this ace of swords here this is going to what set this person's free and they're going to make the decision the decision has been made or it's about to be made transformation energy definitely this has been a learning lesson for someone a soul growth lesson from someone here right the ability to feel confident in what it is they feel death card energy scorpio energy and i also see the eight of cups walking away from emotional baggage so someone has been letting their past demons affect the way they live their life and that is the lesson here to no longer do that okay we live and we learn but you got to keep living all right future energy seven of swords and the page of wands sagittarius energy or just fire sign energy but more swords here this is definitely telling me there was some strategy here someone was being deceptive even with themselves this is why all this swords clarity energy is coming through someone was lying to themselves and this lying to themselves, they, they didn't even see it they tried to avoid some sort of new beginning here something that was very passionate something they were very excited about very intrigued by spark in their life you know and they tried to deny it very clearly tried to pretend that it wasn't as exciting to them as it really was this could be you you could really love yoga and you tried to play it off like you hate yoga but you just can't stop thinking about yoga so you're like maybe i actually really like yoga just an example getting out to think outside the box it's not always about love but for most of you it definitely is someone tried to avoid feelings avoid starting new due to some past transgressions but look what it look where it ended them up. Eight of Swords. Right? Eight of Swords. Trapped. Stuck. Right? But that is where this transformation comes in. Someone is ready to finally walk away from this emotional baggage. Someone is ready to walk away from the emotional baggage that life has helped them help them acquire. Ready to transform. This has been major transformation energetic wise for this person or you. Someone has definitely became wiser. They've leveled up spiritually, right? Taking the lessons and living and not just, you know, becoming a mute. But let's get some oracles. What do we have for Gemini? For Gemini. Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. I think this is for whoever has been going through this sort of lesson here about not allowing life to harden you right you got to keep living your hard work is paying off someone has definitely been going through it we just got out of capricorn season as well that could be significant for some of you let's get some of these for gemini but you are showing up in your own reading so you're absolutely self-aware if this is you you're you're you know now you're no longer going to deny what it is that you really that you really desire in your heart could be crossword puzzles you know what i mean you really love crossword puzzles <laughs> it's time to make a move what else do we have for gemini but this hard work is paying off tells me this has been a very difficult journey for someone but they are coming out of the tunnel. They're starting to break break out of the tunnel here. One for Gemini, please. Okay, two. Emira, what are you being called to journey to? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying the vine, laying foundations, divine plan. That's that uh, lover's energy. This was absolutely destined and fated, but this choice is still ours at the end of the day. Right? We can choose and not until we actually choose happiness and alignment for ourselves. That's the only time it matters. It's like recovering from addictions, right? The addict has to choose, has to want it for themselves. They can't do it for anyone else. 
And until it's in that, a, a, a personal desire of their own, they will not recover. They will not clean up, right? You could want them to clean up all you want. Wasting your energy until that person decides that they want it for themselves. Forget everybody else. They want it for themselves. They choose it for themselves. For Gemini, please. Gemini. Ooh, moth spirit. Surrender now. Mm hmm. Definitely. That's that Seven of Swords energy being released. Yeah, and we also have Nightingale spirit number 41, which is a five energy of change. Love is all around. Definitely another card of communication. Birds are messengers. So more conversation, communication, exchanging of data here. And of course, double confirmation of that uh, Scorpio card we saw earlier. Transformation is beautiful. Number 11, alignment energy. Someone's coming out of the cocoon. All right. That is your reading for the week, Gemini. I really do hope that resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.